Richard III was born on October 2, 1452, at Fotheringhay Castle in Northamptonshire, England. He was the last Plantagenet King of England and the last King from the House of York. His birth was marked by the ongoing Wars of the Roses, a series of civil wars between the House of York and the House of Lancaster for control of the English throne. Richard III was the youngest son of Richard, Duke of York, and Cecily Neville. His father was a leading figure in the Yorkist faction, and his mother was a member of the powerful Neville family. Richard had three older brothers, Edward, Edmund and George. Richard III was a member of the House of York, which was one of the two rival royal houses in England during the Wars of the Roses. The other house was the House of Lancaster, which was represented by the Red Rose. The House of York was represented by the White Rose, and the conflict between the two houses was known as the Wars of the Roses. Richard had a difficult childhood, marked by the deaths of his father and older brother in battle against the Lancastrians. His father and brother Edmund were both killed at the Battle of Wakefield in 1460. Richard was only eight years old when his father died, and his mother raised him and his siblings in relative poverty. Richard married Anne Neville, they had one son named Edward, they lived at Middleham Castle in Yorkshire. Richard was appointed the Duke of Gloucester by his brother Edward IV in 1461. When Edward became king, Richard was given various offices and titles, including Constable of England, Lord High Admiral, and Governor of the North. In 1483, after Edward IV's death, Richard's nephew, Edward V, was proclaimed king, but Richard was appointed as Lord Protector of England. Edward V was only 12 years old at the time, and Richard was entrusted with the task of ruling England until Edward came of age. Richard had Edward V and his younger brother, Richard, imprisoned in the Tower of London and declared them illegitimate, claiming that their father had been previously married. This cleared the way for Richard to take the throne himself. The fate of the young princes, known as the Princes in the Tower, has been a subject of debate and speculation for centuries. Richard III was crowned king on July 6, 1483. His coronation took place at Westminster Abbey, and it was attended by many of the leading nobles of England. However, the circumstances of his ascent to the throne were controversial, and there were many who did not support his rule. Richard's reign was marked by a number of reforms, including the establishment of the Court of Requests, which provided access to justice for poor people. He also tried to control the power of the nobility and to promote social mobility. Richard III was also responsible for building several important buildings, including the Council Chamber at Westminster Palace. He was a patron of the arts and a lover of music, and he commissioned many works of art during his reign. In August 1485, Henry Tudor, who was also known as Henry VII, invaded England from France with a small army and challenged Richard III for the throne. Henry was a Lancastrian, and he claimed the throne through his mother, who was a descendant of the Lancastrian King Henry VI. The Battle of Bosworth Field was a decisive battle in the Wars of the Roses and marked the end of Richard III's reign. The battle was fought between Richard's army and the forces of Henry Tudor. Richard's army was larger, but Henry's army was better trained and better equipped. During the battle, Richard III fought on foot in the front line. According to some accounts, he was a skilled warrior and fought bravely, but he was ultimately overwhelmed by Henry's army. Richard was killed in the battle, and his body was taken to Leicester and buried in a church called Greyfriars. Richard was the last king of England to die in battle. He dies of two head wounds that would have killed him immediately. Following Richard III's death, Henry VII became king of England, and he founded the Tudor dynasty. Henry married Elizabeth of York, the daughter of Edward IV and the sister of the princes in the tower, in an effort to unite the houses of Lancaster and York. Richard III's reputation has been the subject of much debate and controversy. During his lifetime and after his death, he was portrayed by his enemies as a tyrant and a murderer. This reputation was reinforced by William Shakespeare's play, Richard III, which portrays him as a villain. However, in recent years, some historians have sought to challenge this negative portrayal of Richard III. They argue that he was a capable and effective ruler who implemented important reforms during his brief reign. They also question the evidence linking him to the murder of the princes in the tower. In 2012, a team of archaeologists led by the University of Leicester discovered the remains of Richard III buried beneath a car park in Leicester. The discovery was a major archaeological and historical breakthrough, as it provided new insights into Richard's life and reign. Analysis of Richard III's remains showed that he suffered from scoliosis, a curvature of the spine. This had been previously mentioned in historical accounts, but the discovery of his remains provided concrete evidence of the condition. 
The discovery also revealed that Richard III had suffered a number of injuries, including a fatal wound to the head. Following the discovery of Richard III's remains, there was a public debate about where he should be reburied. The University of Leicester argued that he should be reburied in Leicester, while others argued that he should be buried in York, the traditional home of the House of York. In the end, Richard III was reburied at Leicester Cathedral in March 2015. Richard III's legacy continues to be debated and contested. Some see him as a victim of propaganda and historical bias, while others view him as a ruthless and ambitious monarch. Regardless of one's views on Richard III, his life and reign remain an important part of English history and the wider story of the Wars of the Roses.